Back now on a Saturday morning with the towering Rockefeller Christmas Center Christmas tree and it's beautiful behind us. If your weekend plans include a trip to pick up your family's tree, be forewarned. Yeah, you might notice that a lot of them look a little smaller this season. NBC's Jolene Kinn is here with more uh, on why this season's crop doesn't appear to be stacking up. Well, Dylan certainly knows a lot about this. There are drought conditions across the country, and we've got this beautiful tree right behind us. But there are so many other trees as you head out that you may see. They may look a little bit like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Those drought conditions plaguing tree farmers everywhere, killing off a centerpiece of the holiday season. It's a family tradition for millions of Americans, buying the perfect Christmas tree. I want this one. But a punishing drought across the country is making it a lot more difficult to find one that will look good for Santa. They're all kind of short and not very full, so we had to really look hard to find a good one. There's quite a few trees out there that look like Charlie Brown Christmas trees. It's no joke at Miracle Acres Tree Farm in Milford, New Hampshire. Owner Dave Wheeler is bracing for a 10-year impact on his 65-acre farm. We planted a thousand trees this spring and a thousand trees are dead. What's the financial impact for your family? Yeah. We're talking from the baby trees and losing years of growth here and there. Uh, we're talking $60,000, $70,000 loss. Uh, of crop. Tree farms across the country are suffering too. In California, prices are going up. In Maine and North Carolina, a shortage. In Louisiana and Alabama, dry weather, slowing growth. And in New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Florida, there's concerns about trees planted this year making it to next. I haven't seen a drought this bad in my lifetime. We've had some droughts, but not this extreme. So you just think even though you've hit this rough patch, it's yeah. still worth it financially to go forward? Yeah, I mean, we have to. This is our retirement plan. <laughs> now, if you already purchased your Christmas tree, the tree may be drier than usual. And tree farmers say, make sure you water it and keep it away from those heating vents. And if you're about to go get your tree this weekend, experts recommend buying a more mature evergreen that has been less vulnerable to those drought conditions in its early days. So, Craig, Chanel, Dylan, a lot to think about as yes. you head out to Not go likely shopping. to look like that yeah. one. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about how you love the tree exactly. and how you take care of it. Exactly. Yes. You have a tree? You have, did you put a tree? <laughs> We're doing it today. Okay. Yeah, did no, you just really did you just lie no, on television? Really Mine's today. fake and it's yeah. bright so green. And mine's in the basement, pre lit. I just have to set it up. Hello, today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.